Today we are going to immortalize a doggo in clay. This guy. Yep, that guy right there. He is going to be a little bubble baby. So cute. He's going to end up looking exactly like this by the end of the video. So let's get into it. First, we're grabbing some Sculpey Original that I regret using because it was way too sticky. Forming the armature with aluminum because Sculpey can get expensive. So we're gonna make him nice and flat. Add some detail with his face, little eyes. We're going for the Kiki look. I have a photo of him that I am referring to that I'm trying to make this bubble baby look like. He's got his eyes closed. He's in the sunshine. We just took him to the park. He's very happy. So that's what we're aiming for today. So I'm just giving his face some shape here and sketching out where things are going to be. Adding some more dimension. Blending everything in. Making it look super easy when in reality this is taking me about two hours at this point. I really love when there is extra dimension, so I made sure to push pretty hard to get some detail on his face. And of course, adding some little legs to this head bubble baby. And I obviously can't finish this without some little toe beans. And the tiniest toe beans. Some big floppy ears, of course, to finish it all off. I'm adding a lot of hair strokes because I thought that this would be apparent on the finished sculpt. Some super sculpty because they did not attach to his body like I had hoped they would. And some burnt little toes. I'm just sketching out where I want the paint to be, the different colors. First coat, I'm just going in with basic black and basic white, and I'll add dimension in a minute. So now I'm doing a mix of white and black to give him a little bit of dimension. He's gotten a little bit of white throughout his black with age. Those little hairs off of the brush made me just as nervous as they're making you right now. And this is probably my favorite part, the little toe beans. And sculpting tool actually worked out pretty great for this paint job right now. Being very delicate when in the end, I really didn't need to be. You'll understand when you see. I was trying to put pure black right in his mouth to give it dimension and then uh, things just went sideways. But it works out. This is really where it kind of started to come to life is when I started feathering in some hair strokes. If you think you're done, keep adding detail. He's got the cutest little Dalmatian spots on his legs, so I couldn't miss those. And 
pan because I don't want this guy to change colors. I'm going over with a satin varnish, so it should look about the same even though my paints are matte. Yes, I'm just as nervous as you when it comes to the bubbles. And here is what the finished popper looks like. I think he turned out great. He bears a very striking resemblance to the actual doggo in question. I love him and I can't wait to do the next doggo. That'll be in the next video.